Hello guys and welcome, it is another episode of Mobile Legends Zero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. For today's episode, we will be covering everything you need to know about Melissa and on how to use her properly. Melissa is considered as one of the excellent marksmen because she has both the defensive and offensive qualities which makes her difficult to kill during team fights. What you're about to learn in this episode are comprehensive and concise guide about the skills and abilities of Melissa, powerful combos of Melissa and on how to execute her skills properly, item build and emblems, and lastly, tips on how to use Melissa properly. I encourage you my friend to finish this video till the end because I guarantee you that right after watching this video, your Melissa gameplay will never be the same. So without further ado, let the tutorial begin. The passive skill of Melissa allows her to deal 125% damage to minions, creeps, and summon units, therefore giving her the advantage on clearing minion waves quickly. How are you? Oh, wait, I just realized. I don't care. <laughs> With her skill 1, Melissa can dash to a designated direction and increase her attack speed for up to 3 seconds. The attack speed bonus also increases with each skill level. With her second skill, Melissa throws her doll to a target location, dealing physical damage and links nearby enemies for up to 6 seconds. The linked enemies will be slowed by 60%, that decays over 1.5 seconds. The doll will deal 70% of Melissa's basic attack damage to all linked enemies every time Melissa is doing a basic attack. You can also attack the doll by tapping the minion basic attack icon. Through this skill, Melissa gains an amazing basic attack range because her doll can serve as an extension of her basic attack. The doll can also deal critical damage and lifesteal to linked enemies. Enemies who steps in the inner circle will be automatically linked by the doll. The link will break once the enemy leaves the outer circle. The doll can link up to 5 enemy heroes at the same time. Aside from that, the cooldown of her first skill is also reduced every time an enemy receives a damage coming from her doll. Because of this, the skill 1 can be used repeatedly depending on the attack speed of Melissa. Please take note that the skill will expire early if Melissa is too far from her doll. So just in case you threw your doll in a wrong location, all you have to do is just to move away from your doll, then throw it again after 2 seconds. The doll can also reveal enemies that are hiding in bushes. You can also move your doll to any location by dashing using your skill 1. The doll can also pass through thin walls. With her ultimate skill, Melissa can create a force field that deals magic damage and knocks back enemies who attempts to get near her. This skill will last up to 4 seconds. The force field will also move together with Melissa when she's about to move out to the boundary. Melissa will also gain a permanent increase in her physical and magic defense once this skill is learned. Aside from that, Melissa also gains temporary increase in physical and magic defense if the skill is active. This skill is also great to use in blocking enemies and pushing them towards the wall to impair their movements. Because of this skill, Melissa has the advantage over enemies with high mobility such as Fanny and Harith. And also, she becomes untouchable by charge-type heroes such as Paquito and Johan. Yeah. 
Just take note that this skill can be penetrated by enemies that are immune to control effects. Now that you're already knowledgeable about the skills and abilities of Melissa, let us now dive into her powerful combos. This combo is used to harass enemies especially on the laning phase. You can do a basic attack on the enemy hero itself, you can target your doll to maintain a safe distance, or you can attack a jungle creep to keep harassing your enemy. This combo is also great to use during team fights. This is how to initiate the combo properly. First is throw your doll towards your target. Use your first skill to increase your attack speed. Then do a basic attack. You can also use your skill 1 first before you use your second skill if your target is far. This combo is similar to combo 1 but this time you use your ultimate skill. So you have two criteria on when to use your ultimate skill. First is to protect yourself against melee heroes and the second one is to trap your enemies. If your situation does not belong to any of these criteria, then never use your ultimate skill. By the way my friend if you are learning and you like this video, please give us a support by giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Mobile Legends Hero Tutorial tips and tricks. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will never miss our valuable upcoming Mobile Legends guides. Basically the ideal item build for Melissa is a combination of attack speed, lifesteal and critical chance. Therefore. This is the item build that I can recommend for her. Swift Boots for additional attack speed. Scarlet Phantom for critical and attack speed. Wind of Nature for lifesteal and physical damage protection. Always remember my friend that your critical damage will also boost the amount of your lifesteal. This is the reason why I find it very suitable for Melissa. In situation where you have low HP, all you have to do is to hit the jungle creep in order to regen your HP. Through this method, you will be staying more on the battlefield instead of going back to your base. Then the next item is corrosive sight for movement slow and more attack speed. 
Berserker's Fury for additional critical damage and critical chance, then Blade of Despair for additional attack power and to kill low HP enemies quickly. You can also substitute the Berserker's Fury with Demon Hunter Sword in case most of your enemy has high HP. Always remember my friend that the item build I showed you is not absolute and will always vary depending on different situation. For the emblem, I highly recommend the Marksman Emblem with Weakness Finder Talent. And this talent will help you secure a kill by inflicting movement and attack slow to your opponent. For the spell, I highly recommend the Inspire spell to buff Melissa with additional attack speed both in pushing and in team fights. So these are the tips and tricks on how to use Melissa properly. First is, make it a habit to check the bush from time to time. Through this, you will significantly increase your chances of winning the game by avoiding ambush and unnecessary deaths. My next tip is always practice safe pushing by placing your dull to blind spots. This practice will help you detect incoming enemies and will help you to react in advance. Your turn, Always remember my friend that your only protection against melee heroes is your ultimate skill. So only use it when enemies will start to charge and approach you. I would highly suggest that you pick Melissa based on the matchup. If the enemy picks charge and dash type heroes, then it is a good choice to counter them with Melissa. Always remember that Melissa is quite vulnerable against Zilong, Lancelot, Marcus, Franco, and other heroes that can easily pull her or heroes that has immunity to control effects. So that's it in this video my friend, I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you learned something new from this episode. Again, please consider subscribing to our channel and don't miss our upcoming Mobile Legends Hero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. Thank you so much for watching this video my friend and always remember that you are amazing. This is 1UP Gaming and see you on our next video.